Good Smoke in America. I am Memphis Seattle Smoke Dog of GSA News, Canada News for everyone across America. Governors pardon convictions of thousands. Colorado Governor Jared Polis announced on Thursday that he granted 1,351 pardons for convictions of possessions of two ounces or less of marijuana. The move focuses on people who are eligible for relief under a new law that increased the legal cannabis possession limit for adults in the state, which Polis signed in May. At the time, he directed state law enforcement to identify people with prior convictions for amount under the new two ounce limit. Adults can legally possess marijuana in Colorado, just as they can beer or wine, the governor said in a press release. It's unfair that 1,351 additional Coloradans had permanent blemishes on their record that interfered with employment, credit, and gun ownership. But today, we have fixed that by pardoning their possession of small amounts of marijuana that occurred during that failed prohibition era. That's, that sounds like great news. A pardon application form for people convicted of marijuana possession over the one ounce, the previous limit, but no more than two ounces, the new limit, was recently made available on the Colorado Bureau of Investigation website as Westward first reported. Paul has signed an an executive order last year that granted clemency to almost 3,000 people convicted of possessing one ounce or less of marijuana. And while earlier legislation that enabled him to do that in an expedited way applied to possession cases involving up to two ounces, his office declined to pardon those with more than one ounce on their records because that amount violated the existing state law. There was nothing written on the new laws that calls for a proactive review of cases that may qualify for clemency given the possession threshold increase. But Polis said on Wednesday that they will be an area of focus for clemency announcement. The governor of Wisconsin announced on Tuesday that he granted 30 pardons primarily to people convicted of non-violent marijuana or other drug offenses. That raised the total number of pardons issued so far by Governor Tony Evers to 337 during his first three years in office the most granted by a governor in the state history at this point into a first term. In May, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf pardoned a doctor who was arrested, prosecuted, and jailed for growing marijuana that he used to provide relief for his dying wife. That came months after he granted expedited pardons for low-level cannabis offenses for 69 people. And growing cannabis for your wife and going to jail for Pennsylvania Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman said recently that one of his key goals in his final year in office is to ensure that as many eligible people as possible submit applications to have the courts remove their cannabis records and restore opportunities to things like housing, student financial aid, and employment. That, that, that's a great, that's a great Lieutenant Governor. I like him. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker announced more than 500,000 expungements and pardons for people with low-level marijuana offenses on their records. The massive clemency and record clearing sweep came about one year after the state's legal cannabis market launch. In June, more than 15,000 people who were convicted for low-level marijuana possession in Nevada were automatically pardoned under a resolution for Governor Steve Sezalik and the Board of Pardons Commissioners. Washington State Governor Jay Inslee has also issued pardons for cannabis offenses. This has been a GSA News. Thank you for watching. And if you like this and want to check out our other content, please check us out at our YouTube channel, Good Smoke in America, our Facebook channel, Good Smoke in America, our Instagram, at Good Smoke in America, and our Twitter, at GSA420. This has been Memphis Smoke Dog of GSA News. Smoking off.